Yo, what's up everyone? So today we're taking a look at the Ryobi 18 volt one plus cordless fix base trim router. This is the tool only, completely cordless, runs off a of battery. Will it hold up to the test that we will put it through? Well, it looks like you might have to stick around and find out for yourself. Let's get it going. I say Ryobi, Cop Tool says Ryobi. No matter which way you say it, I think you're gonna really like this. Now, if you were trying to get into woodworking, I will tell you this is the perfect little router to go out and purchase maybe for your first time. Only $69 for this router. That does not include the tool. It does not include the edge guide. It is just the tool only. You do get the collet wrench though. Collet size on this quarter inch. The weight on this, you're looking at four pounds. Unfortunately, it is brushed, but check it out. Very simple to use this. This is actually built just like the Rigid, and yes, I know they are the same company. Now, you do have the quick lock right here. Really simple to use. All you got to do is pop that open and then just basically press down on this lever right here, and you can adjust it up and down. And you also have the micro adjustment dial. This is really good for the fine tuning applications. I actually use that a lot quite actually, but you can see it just scrolls up, scrolls down. You got a nice little measure on the side right there. Yeah, real easy to use. I like that. And just to show you the quicker application, you just push that little lever there and you can bring it up, down, and then fine tune it with that micro. So yeah, real smooth, real easy. Got a really nice build on this. I was actually surprised. It's all metal on the outside here. It does have the aluminum base. It's basically set up just like the rigid. And then you have the lock button right here so you can tighten and loosen your collet to put in the bits or take them out. Now, if you wanted to, instead of getting into that tighter space to put those bits in, you can actually take this, just pop it out, push that little button, boop, comes right out the side. And then you can insert your bit. Once you're done with that, then you can just throw it right back into the base. Check this base out though. Again, the exact same one as the base. That you find on the rigid, they probably use the same mold, same material. You got the base plate right here. It's a heavy duty graded plastic and you can remove those and actually put a round one on if you wanted just by removing those screws. You can also put a fence on that. I'll show you that here in a bit, but check out this collet. Real simple to loosen up, tighten down. And the lock button, I will tell you that when you were really applying some pressure, you can feel it wiggle a little bit. That was a bit strange to me, but at the end of the day, it still worked fine for me. And in case I forget to mention this later in the video, you do have a three-year warranty on it. Now, check it out. This is the actual edge guide that comes with the rigid model, and it fits perfectly with the Ryobi. You can go out and purchase this separately if you wanted to use this on the Ryobi. They are the exact same. Really simple to use. You just tighten down those poles right there, and you're just going to slide this right up over the top, and that's basically it. Now, I've been actually using this a lot on the Rigid. Works fantastic, very solid, actually great build on this fence here. And I have also used it on the Ryobi and it works just as well. Really nice, real nice smooth glide, real easy to adjust. I'm really happy with that. And again, here is your micro adjustment. If you bring that down, you can see that little ruler on the side really helps dial that in. So great touch with that Ryobi. Now this is the 18 volt. I will tell you I'm using a four age battery. Those batteries for the Ryobi, they're pretty big. So you're adding like a second layer on top of this. The rigid, we're gonna do a tool duel between these two, but I'm gonna let you hear the Ryobi start up real quick. Twenty nine thousand RPM on this and you also get a light on the bottom. Check that out. See if you flip that switch. I like where the switch is added. It's on the back. Simple to turn on and off. So that's cool. But let's do some routing. But wait, before we do that, make sure you smash that like button and get subscribed so you don't miss out on any other tool reviews. All right, this is a three eighth inch round over bit. That was real nice like and again 29,000 rpm on this the only issue i have really other than it being a little bit bigger on top with the battery is that there's no speed control but check that out extremely smooth i'll tell you this thing got some power to it i was really impressed by the ryobi cordless router so far now you do have that over molded grip zone really comfortable in the hand it's actually balanced really nice but it's really just straight up and down so it's not that big of a deal anyway 
but we are going to change out the bit now we are going to move it along we're going to see what else we can do here and you can get right into that call it like so pop that out throw your new bit in this right here that we're putting in is a quarter inch cove bit and we're going to see what it does we'll just tighten it down super simple to do and again you can remove that base if you wanted to so let's check it out you know impressed with the power with this again um just dug right in there no issue nice and smooth like so really impressive good job so far ryobi let's see what else we can do here all right here's one of my favorite bits the slot cutter and if you're doing cabinetry great bit for that let's check it out freaking awesome now again if you have the edge guide you can adjust the depth of that and uh yeah great bit now if you wanted to do dovetails i just wanted to push this to the limit you wouldn't do it on a uh, four by four but i just wanted to see how much power this thing had check it out so that was a bit overkill but we push them harder on this channel so you don't have to at home if you can do that on a 2x4, you won't have any issue doing that on what you want to do at your house with thinner material. All right, let's move it on. Let's do a half inch rabbiting bit. And this is going to put it to the test here. Here we go. Again, power on this router, it's, it's pretty impressive. Really smooth, clean cuts on every piece that we have tried. I'm telling you, this thing is built really solid and it's, it's a really powerful unit. So yeah, this is great. If you were a beginner at woodworking or trying to get into cabinetry or carpentry or something like that, maybe you don't have a lot of money to spend maybe you're just trying to check these things out and you want to get into a line you know the Ryobi batteries are cheap this is a solid unit I am definitely happy with it kind of bummed out they didn't have a speed adjustment on this but at the end of the day it probably helps keep the price down it is definitely a lot bigger up on top with that battery but that's not a big deal because it's a vertical machine anyway it has a comfortable grip I like the LED light I love the quick adjustment again it's basically the exact same components that you would probably find on the rigid they feel exactly the same the same molding everything fits on the rigid that would fit on the Ryobi I think the micro adjustment works great I love the fence over here you'd have to buy that separately and no adjustment or anything going out of whack once you are using it with the vibration super clean cuts super easy really powerful at 29,000 rpm call it's pretty easy to get to I like the plastic base again same as on the rigid well done. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss out on any other tool reviews. Get us on the Instagram page at Tool Reviews, and we'll be back with more videos soon.